Hey guys, it's your favorite gold miner prospector and geologist Jeff Williams. And today I'm going to show you how to find load gold using old placer diggings. So let's get into it. I know it doesn't look like much, but to the trained eye, this area has been heavily worked by dry washers. And that is a very good sign. You see that? That's a test hole. And you see that? That's another test hole. That tells me that they're looking for good deposits of gold here. Now, when you find these old dry washer piles, you can sample them yourself with your own dry washer, which is what I would recommend. Or you could just take soil samples and throw it into a five gallon bucket. What I wanna teach you is, is if you start following these things, sometimes they'll lead you right to the source. And that's what we're gonna explore today. But I want you to see all the workings that out here. I mean, this is incredible. Look at this, every 20 feet, there's a hole and it goes in a straight line all the way up the hill there. And look at this, I got header piles and I got tailing piles everywhere. See that? All the way up. And they've been digging and digging. Here's some more sample holes, see them? There's one there, one there. And they've been digging in here and this is all hair piles here. They must have had something big in here and they were eating away at the bank. And then here's the tailing piles, more header piles. They must have been finding a lot of, and this just keeps going and going and going. Up. And I know they didn't get it all. And this would be a great place to sample all through here in this nice red material. But that's not what I'm here to show you today. I wanna to show you where this stuff is coming from. Because look at this, I've got float everywhere. And I got inclusions of iron. Now these are pseudomorphs of sulfides after pyrite. And when you see these in quartz, that's a very good sign. And there's this stuff everywhere. And this is a little tiny sample. I mean, I've seen pieces the size of a car. So what we're gonna do is, that's right, we're gonna play detective. And that's what you should be doing too. We're gonna follow this stuff and see where it leads us. But I'm not gonna do it. They tell you smash that like button, smash it hard. Now, the first thing I would recommend is getting on Google Earth and checking the area to see if there's any exposed outcroppings or diggings or trenchings or test pits that are above the areas where you saw all the dry washing diggings. And when we did that, we found this. This is a commercial operation. You can see where they brought in skip loaders and they were digging up the country rock. And the country rock consists of obviously, look at that quartz that's just got tons and tons of iron in it. And I got metamorphic rock out here that's beautifully mineralized. And of course, caliche. This ugly stuff. Oh, I hate caliche. Look at that, just gobs and gobs of caliche up here. They were digging into it to find the gold. Now, when I did my research, I saw a whole bunch of diggings up on the hill. And of course, all this placer gold they're finding down here must have come from up there. That's why research is always your number one tool because it's gonna save you weeks, if not months of boots on the ground. And it told me that they were finding something up there. Now, I don't know how rich it was and I don't know what the grade or anything is, but I know where I was at was downstream, down this wash arroyo from up there. So we're gonna head up there and see what it looks like. Because if my calculations are correct, all of this beautiful float is coming from up there. And if there's gold here, oh, there must be gold up there. Ooh, something big, really big is living in there. I don't know if I wanna put my head in there. Actually, there's a community here, look at that, jeez. But I can tell already by looking at the rock, look at that. See this? See the inclusions? This is pseudomorph after sulfide, you see it? And that's a good, good sign. And of course, this is a granitoid rock here. And I've got all different types of mica schist out here as well. A classic example of mica schist. See the foliations running through there? All right, and then we'll head up this way and see what we got. Look at that piece. As we're heading up the wash, getting more iron staining. I've got schist on the outer hanging wall and foot wall of this vein. Quartz bonds and I right there, big old slab of it, which is the country rock around here. You can see where people have been digging and digging and sampling. Oh, there's some kind of wooden structure up there. There's pieces of metal everywhere in here, probably from the old timers. Yep, look at that. Cans everywhere. Wow, look at this. It's an old building. It's windy up here. Nice, there's the floorboards. There's 
an old jar underneath there. Whatever he's got any coins in there. These are the original floorboards right here. Nice. Yeah, this is the floorboards. This must have been where they were staying when they were mining out here. Yep, the screen. There's the top of the smokestack on the roof. Nice. If these floorboards could talk. If there wasn't so much trash here, this would be a good place to metal detect. But I want you to see something. This building is portable. Look at this. See these hooks? They could actually drag this thing into position. That's pretty cool. And I know there's stuff underneath there, but whoa, 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 I'm not getting up underneath there. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. That's good looking material. Look at that. Oh, beautiful flowers. Look at that. I see where it's coming from. There's a contact zone here. You see it? Look at this. And there's the alteration zone, the halo. And look at the veins running through here. Beautiful, you got stock works in there, but that's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in this right through here. All this right here. And of course, here's your vein right here. So it looks like we have our first vein. This is our first outcropping. And it's obviously rich because people have been chewing and digging at it. And if you were to look at this on Google Earth and draw a straight line from this point to the other, you can see that there's a vein under here, right under my feet. But I don't see a lot of working, so we're gonna keep going up the hill and see if we can find some more of this material because this looks super rich. And I'm gonna bet that it keeps going along the ridge. Even if you don't see it, it's there. And 50 bucks says that there are parallel veins in the area. At least two or three of them. I'm gonna put money on it. Oh yeah, here's that beautiful vein right here. Oh, that's so nice. And look, they started to drive in on it. See that? Veins on the left, which is right next to the hanging wall. It always is. And the foot wall and all that's all waste rock. That would definitely be worth collecting. Oh, and you can see fault gouge in there too. See it? They got fault breccia and fault gouge right there. Oh, look what I found. This is where it's all coming from. This is a huge, huge outcropping. Beautiful quartz vein. Silica, look at the mineralization in it. You can see where somebody was getting ready to drop a shaft in it right here. See that? Oh, that's pretty. That's real pretty looking material. See all the red hematites in there? Oh, this is what I'd be digging right here. That'd be worth sampling too. Oh, that's some good looking material. Beautiful. And there's a shaft. You can see the vein you're following down right there. See how they're notched? See that? It's exactly, you can see where they had pencil line right there that's called the half lap joint you see where they had it notched there too see where the bulldozers come down through here and push this they're looking for that vein and i think i see something you see it right there that's the vein right there and that is worth sampling right there see it it's definitely the vein. It's got a north-south strike to it. Veins here. Oh, 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 look at this. Getting juicy. Getting juicy. Look at that. Right there. See all that hematite? Look at this. It's just falling out. Look at that. That's fantastic. This whole section right here. Look at that, I'm definitely sampling that. So if this vein goes here and across the ridge, I wonder if there's a parallel here. Look at this. What the heck? Wow. Look at this thing. It's a cable, some type of an aerial tramway. You see that? That is really cool. That means that this is some type of a aerial tram system for getting ore from a remote location. And if I had to guess, it's from a parallel vein from another system that duplicates or replicates the one that we just saw. Because remember I told you, if you find one vein, chances are there's one, two, three, four, five. Could be a whole swarm of parallel veins. So you need to check that. 
Use Google Earth to do that. Me, I like getting boots on the ground because sometimes you can't see it on Google Earth. Like for this, I couldn't see this thing on Google Earth. I don't even know how they got it up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this cable because this cable is going to lead me exactly where the ore is coming from because I don't see anything. Oh, I just love a mystery. But before I do that, I'm going to crush up that ore that we've been sampling and see if there's anything in it. And it's windy as heck up here. I hope you can hear what I'm saying. All right, let's get back and crush those samples because I got to see what's in them. But I'm not going to do anything until you smash that like button. Smash it. Oh! Yeah, I know. I don't have a mortar and pestle. But a hammer and a flat rock does just as good. Not exactly the best way to do it. But when you're in a pinch, you do what you got to do. Sonny, you gotta love it. I'll be drinking that after this. Uh, I wish it classified. All right, let's see what we got. All right, let's get over in the sunlight because gold follows the sun. Oh, oh, look at that. Look, oh, that's wire gold. Let me get my glasses on. Oh, dang it. Look at that. Look at that wire gold right up in there. You see that? Beautiful piece there. Look at that little tiny, tiny pieces right there. You see it? Let me see if I can get a better shot for you. Look at that tiny, tiny, tiny gold right there. Here's another little ultra fine piece. That is beautiful. Beautiful. So I hope this helps you localize load deposits in a placer slash load bearing district. And if you like this video, go ahead and watch this video right here on finding load deposits. And I'll see you on the next video. I think I'll walk down the street with my shorts on, take my top off. Wow. I've seen photos of this place and snow all the way up to the top of those yeah. banisters.